What's going on investors? AK here bringing you the noise where we analyze the market and business news that you need to know. Let's go! Today we're going to revisit gold. I'm going to explain what's going on in the gold market and what trades we put on last week in the MacroOps portfolio to take advantage. Now earlier this month I released a video explaining why our team was bullish on gold. If you haven't seen it, I'll link to it above. But at the end of that video I explained that even though we were bullish, we were still waiting for price to confirm. Because in the markets, you can have whatever opinion you want based off whatever research. But if you're fallible, then you know that no matter your research or opinion, you could very easily be wrong. And that's why you wait for something like price action to confirm before you jump in. About a week after we released that gold video, it looked like we finally got our breakout. But we didn't immediately put on the trade because we wanted to wait for a strong close to make sure it was real. And that ended up being the right move because as you can see, we got a huge breakout failure. It was a bull trap. This failure was an inflection point. Over the last year, gold had everything going for it to rally, but it still failed. The dollar was down almost 15%. Geopolitical tensions were rising from trade wars and nuclear strikes. And to top it all off, we had that rise of inflation narrative coming back front and center. Even so, gold still failed to break higher. And now the conditions are actually shifting to become bearish for gold. Rates keep going up, which draws money out of gold. And we're starting to see the end of global synchronized growth. This chart is a global and regional financial conditions tracker from the IMF. Blue means easy liquidity, which is bullish for risk assets and bearish the dollar, which if you remember from our last video is bullish for gold. Now the second chart from the IMF suggests that we've already seen peak global liquidity and that we should expect tighter conditions going forward, which means in the future we should get less blue and more orange on that previous chart, which is bearish for gold. We're seeing the start of global tightening in indicators across the board. This chart is the global FMS macro indicator from Bank of America. It's gone from bullish to neutral territory. Tightening global liquidity leads to rising perceptions of risk. And higher risk perception typically leads to stronger dollar because it catches the flight to safety bid. Which again, because the dollar and gold trade inversely to one another, is bearish for gold. The relationship between the dollar and liquidity can be seen on this chart. One of the toughest parts about investing is staying flexible. Too many investors become way too close-minded and rigid. They basically get attached to their thesis. They forget that the goal should be strong opinions, but weakly held. In our case, after seeing this latest inflection point in gold, we needed to stay flexible and switch our positioning. Instead of waiting to go long, we now needed to go short. Last Monday, we saw gold break below its triangle pattern. We put on a starter position of just 25 bips to test the waters because we knew there was potential of another fake out. We were also putting on 75 bips of long dollar positions at the same time. And going long the dollar is very closely correlated to going short gold. So we needed to size smaller when considering our total portfolio construction. By Thursday, we saw the follow through in gold that we wanted and put on another 25 bips, doubling our position. Again, we sized a bit smaller because we also doubled our dollar position at the same time. And now we just gotta sit and wait for the trend to play out. Are you guys playing this break in gold? What about the dollar? Let me know in the comments. And if you want more market analysis like this, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit that bell for notifications of new videos. I'll talk to you again soon.